Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 316. That is, what is structural testing? Let me answer. So what is structural testing? Structural testing is a method of software testing which tests the code and internal program structure of software. Okay, it's a method of software testing which tests the code that is written by developers for building the software and the internal program structure of the software. Who generally develop or write the code for building the software? Developers, right? So who can perform structural testing? Developers only because they are the ones who are going to write the code for building the software. So they have the access to the uh, uh, they have the access to the application code that they have written, and also they can view the application code they have written. They can even test the application code they have written. Okay, that's why developers will perform the structural testing. But there are several names for structural testing. Okay, what are the different names for structural testing? Structural testing is also known as white box testing, glass box testing, open box testing, code box testing, transparent box testing, clear box testing, and comprehensive testing. These are the several names of the structural testing. But how structural testing will be performed by developers? Okay, uh, I'll show you an image here. You see, uh, here there is a box where code is accessible or visible, okay, or testable. So who can see the code? Who can access the code? Who can test the code? Developers, okay? Developers will provide this test input. Maybe it's some test data is input uh, while the program is running. Program will take collect this uh, test input and give the appropriate output. Some result will come. If the result is coming correctly as expected, then the test will pass, okay? Otherwise, the test will fail. This is how the Structural testing will be performed by developers because they can access the code, they can view the code, and they can test the code. Okay, and these are the different names for structural testing. And coming to the different levels of software testing, we have unit testing, integration testing, system testing, and user acceptance testing. In those four levels of software testing, first two levels, that is unit testing and integration testing, are generally done by developers. And while developers are performing this unit testing and integration testing, they can access the code, they can view the code, they can test the code. That's why this unit testing and integration testing will fall into the structural testing category. Okay. And the opposite of the structural testing is black box testing. Okay. The opposite of the structural testing is black box testing. In structural testing, the testing of the software is done by developers by testing the internal code and internal program structure of the software. Okay. Here, no visual user interface is being used by developers. But coming to the Opposite of the structural testing, that is black box testing here, testing will be performed by using the visual graphical user interface of the software. For example, you will be given this kind of application, which contains a graphical user interface. You can see the buttons. You can click on the buttons and you can perform the operation. But can you see any code running behind the screens? When you click on the search button, some code is running behind the screens. Okay, that code is not visible to us. That's why we call that as a black box testing because code that is written by developers for building the software is not visible to the software testers who are testing this software by using its visual functionality like this, okay? So black box testing is that here, without looking into its internal code implementation of the software by using the visual functionality of the software, if the testing is performed, that is called as black box testing, which is an opposite of the structural testing. So what are the different levels of software testing which fall into the black box testing category? We already have seen the levels of software testing which fall into structural testing category where unit testing integration, which are generally done by developers by accessing and viewing the code will fall into the structural testing category. But coming to the black box testing, system testing and acceptance testing will fall into this category. System testing will be generally done by the software testers where they will test the entire application as a whole like this, okay? So uh, the main focus of the software testers while performing the system testing is the client's given requirement, whether the application that is developed by developers is working according to the client specified requirements or not. Here, testing will be done by the software testers by using the visual functionality of the software without having any access to the internet code implementation. That is system testing. Here, software testers are performing. Coming to the acceptance testing, people also call it as user acceptance testing. There are two levels, guys. One is alpha testing and one is beta testing. In alpha testing phase, Okay, the client side business people who knows the user needs and expectations well, okay, and uh, who has a business knowledge well, will will travel to the developer's uh, site and perform testing. And that testing is called as alpha testing. Okay, they provide a lot of feedback and developers have to modify the application according to the given feedback. Okay, here, the testing done by this client side business people will be done in the form of black box testing only using the visual functionality of the software without looking into the internal code implementation. Similarly, we have beta testing guys. Okay, beta testing means the software will be released into the market, but not 
it's not a real release of the software guys the release is done to get the feedback to collect the feedback from the customers okay to see if there are any bugs in any other platform that uh, real uh, real customers are using in their real day to day needs okay so just for testing purpose the release is being done in uh, beta testing where end users will perform the testing indirectly and provide the feedback or report the defects uh, that they have encountered by encountered while using the software okay so the company behind the software will collect such kind of feedback or defects and then uh, modify the software according to the user needs and expectations okay so here these end users whatever they are performing also is black box testing because they cannot see the internal code they will be given this kind of application url and uh, they will be testing using the graphical user interface that is visual graphical user interface hence black box testing is an opposite of the structural testing okay so hope guys you understood what is structural testing in this session so that's all for this session in the next session i am going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye